Um, let's turn outside of the financial, shall we? Lockheed Martin shares, uh, they are up by 1.7%. They reported better than expected second quarter results. And the company also raised its guidance on strong demand. Sales for full year 2023 now expected to come in at about $66.5 billion. Prior guidance was about a billion dollars below that. Earnings per share forecast at 27.10. Uh, the prior forecast there at 26.75. So it looks like there we are seeing military spending yeah. still help things. There were some supplier disruptions um, that hurt right. matters at Lockheed Martin, but seems to have recovered. But certainly the war in Ukraine continues to uh, be accretive to Lockheed Martin. So the fact that that is ongoing, uh, extensive, you know, uh, conflict that's happening, that's going to continue to help the company. I mean, it is the world's biggest defense mm. company. Yeah, it's like a tale of two sectors, right? Mm. You have the bank slashing mm -hmm. guidance across the board. You have Lockheed Martin saying, oh, there's more geopolitical tension. Let's raise that <laughs> guidance up there. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but yeah, I think the war in Ukraine, also the ongoing tensions between U.S. and China, I think that's only going to escalate considering the Biden administration's plans to restrict investments in China. We had Janet Yellen over there recently to try and ease that. But the general consensus across the board is China's not going to be too happy about that. So clearly a lot going on geopolitically. Yeah. That can be a boost for Lockheed. And of course, the defense budget as yes. well here. I yes. mean, we always, you know, add to that. So yes, it's true. The company has had some delays for its F-35. So that's something that's been an overhang. Mm -hmm. Um, so this forecast that we're talking about represents a return to sales growth for the company. And all of this geopolitical stuff, notwithstanding, I mean, we're not scrambling jets over China right now, so let's right. not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> um, but, <pessimist. laughs> but, but there, you know, obviously there is this underlying demand here. We're going to talk more with Chris Versace in just a moment about this because Lockheed is a stock that he yeah. likes. And we're going to talk about the defense bill, which has seen some roadblocks. Yeah. Jets versus balloons. Remember the spy balloon? Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll put a pin in Lockheed Martin and come back to that.